Uh, hi. Ba -ba -ba. I'm here to talk about what's arguably considered the most emotional episode in Blue's Clues history. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, Blue. The episode where Steve went to college. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I know this is a real emotional one. This one, you know, believe it or not, this episode did pull in the heartstrings of a lot of people because it, it was the end of an era. It's announced in this episode that Steve is going to go to college. And that means he's not going to be able to play Blue's Clues with us anymore. He's going to leave the house and go to college. Ba -ba -ba. Yes, this episode might sound, you know, kind of sad for a, sh for a show about, you know, for little kids. However, what I really love about this episode and why I think it works and isn't just like an emotional roller coaster is something still kind of has a fun, uplifting sense to it. It's, it's not just the end of an era, it's also the start of a different era because it's the start of Joe's era as the host because, you know, the. Uh, it's I believe like off screen, uh, Blue and Steve have already talked about how. You know, Blue's gonna have a new caretaker with the talking objects. They're kind of like, oh, well, you know, if Steve, you're gonna go to college. Who's gonna take care of us? And then Steve announces that Joe is gonna stay and he's gonna be the new caretaker of the house. And that means he's gonna be the new host playing Blue's Clues. And so this was, so basically it's an end of an era, but it's the start of a new one. So you do get a sense of finality, but you also get the sense that, you know, things aren't all ending there's new things to get excited about and i think that was a brilliant way of ending steve's storyline because yes it's the end of steve's era and that is sad but it's the start of joe's era and that's fresh and new and exciting and i this episode you know a lot of the episode steve is getting ready for college and you know he's trying to figure out uh blue wants him to bring something special with him to college so he's trying to figure out what that is while joe is kind of talking to us the audience that he and the others are preparing a special goodbye party for steve so that was really cool uh so basically we get to know something that steve doesn't know and then towards the end of the episode they throw that special surprise goodbye party for steve and that's wonderful and of course, uh, we get that emotional moment that really, that really, really tugged on the heartstrings. Where you know, uh, you know, we don't usually see Blue be that sad. There was a special episode in the original show and the reboot where Blue's sad for the majority of the episode, but that's not really a regular thing. But when you know Steve said, you know, he's really gonna miss Blue, Blue really did look sad, and she gave Steve a big hug, and you know, Steve. Um, you know, told the audience, uh, you know, the viewers to look after his brother Joe, and then, he, you know, he said he's gonna miss us, and then he's, and then, you know, the last person he, you know, pretty much gives a special goodbye to, it actually isn't uh, one of the talking objects, or his brother, or even Blue, it's us. Like, he's about to step out the door, and he looks back, and then he says, thanks again for all your help, you really are so smart. And, you know, and before then, he also mentions, I'll never forget how you helped me solve all those clues. And I'm actually getting emotional just thinking about it. It's just, it's sad. Steve's going to go. He's not going to be the host anymore. And so then he gets on that bus and he goes and it's sad. But then at the end of the episode, we see Joe and he's playing with Blue. And then the phone rings and then it's Steve calling. And, you know, of course, we'll stop to Joe and, and uh, Blue. But he also wants to talk to us. And he says, and, you know, he's doing okay. And and he misses us and to take care of his brother Joe. So yes, it is a bit sad. It, uh, not a bit sad, it's very sad to see Steve go, but it's great to have Joe around, so you know, I'm glad that, you know, they decided not to end Blue's Clues after Steve left, even though he's so essential and what's great about Blue's Clues. They found a host that's great, like Donovan Patton, to really keep it going, and I'm glad that they kept it going. I mean, of course, I'd rather have the show end than have, like, a bad host that kind of ruined the legacy of Blue's Clues. But thankfully, Joe has been amazing, and Josh has been amazing, and the Blue's Clues franchise has continued with so much heart. And, of course, you know, all those years later, Steve had a special reunion video that really did actually made fans cry. But, you know, kind of tears of happiness, and, you know, it was really emotional. And, you know, even though Steve's not the host anymore, he has made appearances in the Blue's Clues reboot and in the newer movie, and, you know, he's been involved in working on the show, so he's still a part of it, and he still loves us, the fans, and treats us like old friends. It's something really special, and he has expressed in real life that he genuinely cares about us, the fans, and, you know, uh, 
feels like there is a personal connection between him and us, and I think that's real, and is a big part of why Blue's Clues has such a genuine impact on the show, because it was made with so much genuine heart. So, the episode where Steve goes to college, it, it, it's the saddest episode of Blue's Clues, but it's still, it's, um, it's a great time to have Joe, you know, take over, and it was a great pass of the torch, you know, Steve passing the torch to Joe, and then later on the new show, you know, Steve and Joe together both passed the torch down to their cousin Josh, and it, it was, it's wonderful. So I think Steve's Goodbye episode, it, it is an emotional episode, but it's, it's an ending to Steve's story, but it's also the, be you know, the true beginning to Joe, kind of a three-episode arc to really introduce Joe to the viewers, and it's wonderful, and, and it's an episode I really, really love.